going into the future, AI is going to eliminate a lot of jobs in society as we know it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. um, I think depending on what you're going to school for now or what you want to go to school for, now the crazy part is you have to take account AI. <laughs> We're live, Cuzzo. Hit him with that we intro. We are back. Welcome back to the Electives Podcast. Thank you guys for watching and listening. Um, this is episode 20, and last week's episode, man, we briefly discussed, well, at the time, man, Boston was down. 3-0. 3-0, right? Yeah. And we talked about coaching and some mm-hmm. of the adjustments they had made and why they were in that position and why Miami was being successful. Right. And a week <laughs> later, here we are. <laughs> Here we are at Game Seven oh, today, game Memorial seven. Day. Man, what do, you, what do you think? What do you think about that? I I think it's a crazy turnaround that they did because, yeah. dude, they did not look good. No, no, they, they did didn't. not look good, man. Now, and what what adjustments do you feel like they made? I feel like everything we said Miami was doing, they did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like they made and and everybody started playing. I mean, Marcus True. Smart hit four threes the other game. Or yeah, yeah. And I think before that game. Game five, yeah. Derek White had like twenty nine or twenty eight or something insane. like that, yeah. and he hit six threes. Yeah, so right? so when your role players give you twenty plus points of offense, right? You know, two of them because right. I, I don't I don't know if Marcus Smart had a, a I don't know if he had a, as big of a game as he had game six yeah. that he had in game five, but uh, yeah, if they're basically giving an additional fifty points between right. between two bench players, yeah, you're definitely gonna win some games like that. That yeah. helps. That helps. Yeah. And Jimmy's and been struggling. Yep. Bam's been struggling. Yep. Um, you, you know, something I noticed, too, and I don't know because we talk, you know, X's and O's, but right. uh, defensively, they figured Jimmy out. Yeah, it seems like that. They've been timing his, his shot. Yeah, he's been getting blocked. Like a lot. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, hmm. Come on, Jimmy. So, I mean, we'll, we'll find out tonight, though. Yeah, right? we're going to we'll find, find out, out what tonight. happens. Tonight is when, uh, when you find out yeah. who's the uh, – and then, the, and then we, real quick, we talked about the coaching. Remember, we oh, weren't sure true. about how Boston was, how their coach was. Yeah. Like, if it would have been better with the old coach. But, um, like I was, we were talking earlier, I saw mm-hmm. that video where he went to go visit, you know, a terminal Tremendous. ill patient. Yeah. I think she was 21. Yeah. And he said that just opened his mind to something else. So I don't know if he brought that to the locker room and or which game after which game that was either, mm-hmm. you know, because mm-hmm. they've been winning. So I don't know. Yeah, well, and that's something that's, like, um, interesting about life, right? Like, I mean, we talk about how sports translates to life, but life also translates to sports. Well, right. there's inspiration all around us 24-7, mm-hmm. you know? Um, sometimes it, it can come in the form of something that at the time may seem like it's negative, right? you know, but it can be positive for someone else. So, yeah, I mean, credit to the coach for, for trying to find a way to uh, inspire his guys. Yeah. Because you know? sometimes, too, I think, and you, I'm sure you you know this or you've experienced this, but sometimes your voice just doesn't, the players, for whatever reason, you know, it's just not, you could, yeah. you could be saying all the right things. Right. Telling them exactly, hey, this is what we need to do, guys, but they're just not buying into it. Yeah. Someone else can say the exact same thing. Yeah. Just a little different. Just like being a parent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would imagine, yeah. Oh, man, it's the same thing. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah, interesting, man. Game seven, we'll see who who you got. If I'm being honest, I mean, I, I feel like you almost have to give it to Boston. They got the momentum. Yeah. They've won three in a row. Uh, if I'm Going Miami, I'm feeling a little, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm a little nervous. I'm a little anxious. Right. You know, when I take that, when I take those big shots in the, in the fourth quarter. Right. Your nerves might be a little, yeah. you know, shaky. Yeah. You know, in the true. garden. So in the garden. And then you you give a guy like Tatum momentum. Right. You know, Tatum might drop fifty tonight. The Brown might drop fifty tonight. Yeah. I mean, I mean, Jimmy might drop fifty tonight. Jimmy. Jimmy. Jimmy looked real to, calm in the interview. He did. Jimmy's gonna have to go for fifty tonight. Honestly. Something's gonna happen. He should. I, I, I would say, man, instead of going for it, which I mean, we haven't seen anybody do this since we're right. Chamberlain, but. In my mind, my mind frame or my mindset, if I was Jimmy Butler, would be I'm going to try and score 100. <laughs> score 100. I'm, I'm going to try. For it. I'm going to try. Oh, know? man. Yeah. But, well, uh, it's going to be exciting, man. But, yeah, we just wanted to sprinkle that yeah. in, man, because obviously. Because last know, episode we were talking about <laughs> Boston was done. Just complete 180. Yeah, it's crazy. 180. That's but crazy. But this week, man, we're going to be talking about AI. AI. Um, not man. Allen Iverson. Exactly. Yeah. No, not Ellen Iverson. <laughs> yeah, artificial intelligence, yep. ladies and gentlemen. 
Um, artificial intelligence, as we've all kind of seen, has been something that's uh, grown rapidly in the last few years. Yep. Um, something that's been, you know, I mean, it's not anything new, right? I think we all knew it was coming, um, but it's it's just uh, it's interesting, man. So. So go ahead, Cuzzo. If you yeah, want. so I mean, uh, AI is, as, as you said, has taken over, you know, society as a whole now mm-hmm. um, with everything. You know, chat GBT. I don't know if you've used it yet. I mean, I think that software is incredible, though. Yeah, I have that. One. I have, I, I made an account. I haven't used it to, to its full capacity, but I also downloaded uh, an AI app mm. that I do use. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I mean, it's, I think there's good, like, well, like anything, there's good and bad with anything that comes into the, you know, invented, it's right. good and bad. Right. Um, but AI, this new stuff, man, I mean, it's it, like, especially like for us, you know, podcasting, YouTubing, uh, it makes things a whole lot easier. It does. When you don't have to really like think about it. I mean, you got to think about your ideas, but right. then you can put it into this program and it'll break it down for you, tell you what to say, how to say it, and then you can adjust it from there. I think that's an incredible software. No, for sure. Yeah, because it make it, it's like working smarter, not harder. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, and and I, the way that that um I think it can be beneficial is yes, it's like having a, a personal assistant. Yep. Almost. Yeah. yeah. Readily accessible. Yeah. Easy. Um, Which is going to be another skill to learn. True. You know, you're going to have to learn how to talk to it. True. You know true. what words but, to write. Now, let me ask you this: Do you think that that there was uh? Because, like, <clears throat> I I thought about this and I said to myself, okay, well, we were already using AI before, like, it really took off. Yeah. I mean, think about Siri, right? Yeah, think Siri. about yeah. uh, Alexa. Yeah. You're speaking to an inanimate, obje- an inanimate object and you're asking it something. <laughs> and it's yeah. responding and then you're responding. Right. You know? Right. So it wasn't like a, a huge culture shock when Chat, BG, or Chat uh, GPT came along. It right. was just kind of like, oh, well, hey, you know, I'm already yeah. doing it on my phone. Yeah, now it's just the upgraded version. Exactly, yeah. exactly. But what I did hear, and I don't know if you heard this, with Chat GPT, they had to change it after like the first month. Yeah. Because the way people were using it was not. <laughs> it wasn't, yeah, not what it was intended. It was not for, what yeah. it was intended for. You know, people were, were asking it crazy things crazy stuff you know how to do this how to do that and it was just telling them yeah you know yeah that's the crazy part yeah it could be dangerous for sure i think some of the things that it was able that it was was telling um was uh they asked it like what are the weaknesses in like the pentagon or like you know military but in like stuff oh my god stuff that you know obviously people don't shouldn't know yeah you know yeah and crazy to asking those questions man. yeah yeah and yeah, there's always going to be somebody who's going to try to um use this kind of technology for for bad right. purposes or whatever the case is but yeah no that's true man. society yeah and i think i think it should be an eye if it hasn't opened your you know been an eye opener for you yet mm-hmm. um it should because uh whatever going into the future AI is going to eliminate a lot of jobs in society as we know it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. um, I think depending on what you're going to school for now or what you want to go to school for, now the crazy part is you have to take account AI because yep. what is what does it look like in yep. 10 years, yep. 15 years? Yep. Will your position be eliminated or can it be eliminated? Right. Or can your career path be eliminated? I think right. that's scary to think about, man, when you're going to school. It is it is scary to think about, and I guess what we'll have to see is uh, how our government responds because yeah. they can put a law into place that they they could say, okay, you still have to hire X amount of human beings, right? You know, will they do that? I don't know. I don't know because this country has shown time and time again it cares about one thing and one thing only, and that's profit. Oh yeah, we're cat. We're you know? it's capitalist. You know, yeah, it's a capitalistic yeah. society. Yeah. So. <clears throat> and, you know, like um, to bring, you know, we shot our episode with Nick. Nick brought yeah. in a good point. You know, he wants to focus on people over profit. Right. But in this country, unfortunately, it's the other way around. Yeah, it's profit first, man. Yep. yep yeah. Yep. yeah. So, so I, I think they got people really got to start thinking about it. Um, You know, especially the younger kids, because I, I think we've been in these limbo years yeah. where you can kind of get away with working like 
a normal job after high school mm-hmm. and live with your mom or dad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But when that's all gone, yeah, then like McDonald's, like McDonald's has, you can order on the damn thing now. Yeah, no. And they're training us to do it because, yeah. you know, like I rarely go to the store. Mm-hmm. I'll just order on Amazon. There you go. So I don't yeah. even want to talk to nobody. Yep. So and, check and out. I was going to say, and, and have you been to Walmart? Anytime lately? No, just Target. Walmart doesn't even have, like, at least the Walmarts I've been in, man. It's It almost seems like they only have one person working the register. <laughs> yeah, it's one and person. They got, and they got 18 registers. Yep. And there's only one person Everybody's working. in the self-checkout. Everybody's in the self-checkout. But yeah. to your point, they programmed us to, to become more used to this. Yeah, like, just mm-hmm. do it on your own. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah, which is nuts, man. It is. It, it is. And it, we just... We just do it. Yeah, we just do it. Don't even question it. Nope. Just, and it's just, just the start it. of it, too. I know. You know, it's just like the start of it. So I, I think uh, we're, we are really got to start preparing ourselves what, for the future. What, what are the main jobs you think that are at risk? I think any computer job. Yep. If you're if you're any computer job or any register, if you're working at a register, if you're, um, yeah, actually, I'll just start with those two. Any, you know, anything with the computer and anything, if you're at a register, I think you're you're in uh you're in trouble yep. for years to come. I think that job's gonna be eliminated eventually because you only really need one person, right, to manage the the robot, you know, the computer. No, yeah, no, and it, and it can do so much. I mean, even like accountants, right? You know, accountants, paralegals, different things like that. Like right. I was seeing that uh, uh, entrepreneurs were using Chat GPT to con- to to basically um, fill out their their paperwork. Yeah for for their businesses yep. <laughs> and it's doing it you know yeah. in real time and yeah and we don't need to file i mean papers anymore i mean a lot of a lot of people use just hard drives that too i mean you can get a yeah. huge ass hard drive and fi- store everything on there you know and back back it up with another hard drive instead of having paper and then yeah. the, then the computer can kind of just file it away yep yeah yep. what about in the healthcare industry do you think that um AI will potentially replace surgeons even? Um, I don't know, man. That's that's tough because I think, I mean, they say like robots can't make mistakes. Right. But I don't know. Yeah. I guess that's interesting. Maybe they're going to need a surgeon to stand with the robot Yeah. Yeah. as they do the surgery. Yep. Because they got a steadier hand. Obviously, it's more steady. Right, right, but, right, right, right. So right, maybe right. in that way. Yeah, because, I, I mean, like, I've even thought about, like, in my career, in my profession, right, being right. a barber. Um, do I think that a robot could cut someone's hair? Yes. Yeah. But I think we're, at least, you know, myself and other fellow barbers and stylists, I think we're okay because the pandemic showed – um, that people still want human interaction. Right. So that's one uh, thing about AI. Yeah. Is it doesn't have the human element to it. Right. right. So a doctor or a surgeon may be okay because a person may say, or or maybe we'll have the choice. Yeah. Maybe you'll have the choice one day. Yeah. Right. Do you want? <laughs> do you want uh, the the robot three thousand to, <laughs> to to you know to give you a triple bypass? Right. Or, <laughs> right. Or would you rather have you know yeah. your doctor do it? Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> yeah, I think barbers are fine because uh, I think I had this conversation with my brother, and uh, it's it's like you said, people are gonna still want to talk to somebody. Yeah, you know, somebody real. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, like, have you and we've all done it, right? Like, how who, how many times have you called customer service? And yeah, you hear that robot? That's irritating, and you're just like. I want to talk to a human being. Yeah. <laughs> Speak with an agent. Zero. <laughs> Zero. 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 You know? Now they started taking that button away. Uh, have they? Some of them, oh, that's an yeah. invalid response. I'm like, oh, what? Yeah. Yeah. But, but yeah. yeah, I mean, I think, and then, so, uh, so then let's transition then. So we got mm-hmm. the ones that are being eliminated. Mm-hmm. What do you think's here to stay aside from barbering? Mm, here to stay? Uh... Ooh, I was going to say teachers, but even teachers are at risk. I think they're huge at risk, you know, and but it, but it kind of goes back to like, you know, the human element, the human aspect. Um, I guess we'll have to see. I, I mean, there's going to have to be a trial period where, yeah, you, you have an entire generation that's, you know, taught by AI and yep. you have to see how they respond to it. You know? Public schools will be first. You guys will oh, be <laughs> they'll be the guinea pigs. You know Unfortunately, it. no. It's true though. They're gonna be it's the first true. ones. It's true. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, private schools, I think they'll. I think private schools will always be around. 
mm-hmm. just because people are going to be able to pay. It's, mm-hmm. You know, it's like, I, this is what I want. You know, mm-hmm. so I'm going to pay that. Mm-hmm. Public schools, you ain't got an option. Right, right, right. You get a robot. Yep. You get <laughs> yep. Mis- Mr. 3000. Yep, <laughs> yep. And yeah. they're already, I mean, they're already kind of setting the kids up, too, because everybody's got an iPad now. Yeah. Everybody's got, you know. Yeah. All these different little tech things at, yeah. at all these schools now. Um, but another job that I think is not at risk would be politicians, um, people involved in government. Yep. Uh, military. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, military, law enforcement. Law enforcement. Health. I mean, even like nurses, I think they'll still be around. Yeah. Just maybe not as many. Maybe not as many. They'll yeah. have to be more of like in the private sector, I think. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah, and then I, I mean, I think even like uh, I would say mm-hmm. plumbers, 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 electricians. electricians. Yeah, plumbers, electricians. So anybody really in the trades. Yeah, in the right, trades is, yeah. is okay. Which is is interesting because back in the day, at least what I remember growing up, like people, trades was considered like. And it's it's it sounds messed up, but at the time I remember hearing like that's how it was talked about. Like trades was for people that weren't good enough to go to college. Yeah, that's crazy to me. Right? Because now I'm like, man, I should I should have fucking been an electrician. But, or, then, you know, but <laughs> now, but now you realize how important and how if 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 we're being honest as a society, like the tr- anybody who's involved in the trade has really helped build the infrastructure and continue yeah. to keep up the infrastructure of right. in the United States. Yeah. You know, because without without those guys right. or or those women, yep. you know. Yeah, women too. Then yeah. hey, <laughs> things don't run. Yeah, things you know? don't. And things who's going to fix stuff in your house? <clears throat> That's a robot him. is not going to come. Well, at least I don't think a robot's going to come here and run my electric. Well, I was going to ask, do you think do you think that one day everyone will have a robot in their house. Like that, iRobot? Yeah. Dude, that's good. I don't want one. To I don't be want honest, I don't want one. I don't one even, I, I don't have Alexa or anything like that in the house because I don't, I just, I don't know, man. It just, it feels weird to me. Yeah. And even sometimes when I, and don't get me wrong, I'll use Siri, but right. it, sometimes it feels weird. Yeah. It's weird, dude. You know? And they're listening to you and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, you know it is what it is, what but yeah. <laughs> so if you're if you're out there listening, make sure you stay in the trades. Yeah. You know oh, I think yeah. there's some unless you're going to college to be a lawyer, because I think they're here to stay. Yeah, lawyers are here to stay. Lawyers yeah. are here to stay. Judges, like you said, government. Um, yeah. Any anything really where you have you have to have human. Yeah. Human interaction. Yeah, you know? you're yeah human interactions here to stay, but like marketing, a robot can do that. Yep. And then now. I mean, really, if you can do like a Facebook ad or something, that's all a company really needs. Yep. Or they're using, uh, you know, YouTubers now, so they that's like the marketing plan now instead of commercials. True. 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 true using true. them. So. True. Now I I read a, a, an interesting article, man, about because yeah. uh, we we brought in healthcare briefly. Um, I'm sure you're familiar with Elon Musk, right? The CEO yeah. of Tesla. Yeah. Everybody pretty much knows who he is and knows his name. But uh, he was talking about something called Neuralink, right? Yeah, I saw that. And what's your opinion on that? What do you th- What do you think about that? I really like. I really don't have an opinion because I think it's so crazy that, well, he, well, that he's gonna put a chip. That's what I was gonna say. in somebody's brain. Yeah. Now, the powers behind it. I don't know. Does it make you like limitless, like that movie where you take the <sighs> pill and then you're like super smart? Yeah. So then well, it would basically. Be, from my understanding, right? And, yeah. I, and once again, we are not professional. <laughs> we do, we just want to put that out there, right? We are not uh, uh, experts in this field at all. But um, my understanding is that yeah. it will basically give you access to the entire internet. So it'd be like putting the AI in your brain. That basically. is nuts. Yeah. So anything, any question that you wanted to know, or you just think about it, it, you just think about it, and bam, comes right to you. That's insane. It is. It is. And it, I, I mean, wonder how much that's gonna cost. Yeah, fifty I, G's to make you more than that to make you pretty much invincible. I, but I, I think it'd be more than that. It'd have to be more than that because 50, 50, 50 G's to have that kind of information is to me. It's. I just it's man, too, I, I, I couldn't have cheap. somebody open my head up, dude, and put some in there. Like I wonder, yeah, I don't. I wonder what the long term effects would be on seeing your brain. That, well, that's what that's what I think that they're they're getting. I don't know. I know that they just got approved to start trying it on human beings, right. but I don't know. I don't know 
if that if they're actually going to do a study on it or if they're just going to say hey you know what the hell with it let's just roll it out let's just roll it out there and see how the people respond to it you know yeah that's what um, i mean yeah that i don't i don't know i would rather just look it up on my phone <laughs> well elon also too discussed that uh i believe this was on joe rogan's podcast he actually talked about why he's afraid of ai now he's afraid of ai to an extent because right. His biggest fear is that AI will develop consciousness. And if AI develops consciousness, then what's stopping AI from saying, um, you know, the planet works really well without human beings. The human beings are the one thing that is destroying the planet. Yeah. Why don't we just get rid of them? That'd be you know? crazy. And I mean, that's like some Terminator type. You yeah, know, term, like, yeah. I mean, and, and, and that's where all those ideas of those movies come from, you know. But I yeah. mean, we are heading in that direction. Yeah, you know now, yeah. <sighs> consciousness is 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 uh, a weird thing. It's yeah. it's an, it's an interesting concept, you know? right? And to think that uh, something like iRobot could happen, where you know this 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 robotic being all of a sudden starts having feelings, yeah, <laughs> could change could change the whole <laughs> could change the whole landscape. Man. Yeah, that's crazy. Change the whole man. landscape. Yeah. You know? Yeah, AI is uh, is man. Yeah, I mean that that's the kind of the scary part, like how Joe Rogan says. Cause I've thought about that too. Like, man, if a robot starts taking over, what are we gonna do? Nah, it's not. I mean, it's but, really nothing. It's really. I mean, just pull the plug, right? You got to Just pull it. Kill the. <laughs> gotta just kill the power it. source. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, let's take a quick break. Straight. We back from the break. Yes, sir. So, man, let's uh. Let's keep rolling with this AI. Okay. All right. Um, let's talk about the finan- financial industry. Mm-hmm. So what do you think? How's he, how do you think it's going to affect that? I think it's going to be huge, man. I mean, it, they already use, you know, like Wall Street uses advanced computers right now. Right. Know, to come up with these calculations and predictions of how the market's going to move. I mean, ultimately, nobody really knows, they say. Yeah. But um, I think, you know, AI is only going to continue to get more intelligent and catch yeah. more patterns and it'll adapt to the markets. And before you know it, man, it, it, I believe it will be able to predict exactly what's going to happen. Yeah. That'd you know? be nuts. That's going to be nuts. <clears throat> so, I, I mean, you know, they, they say that we're, um, in a recession now or that we'll, you know, be in a full blown recession by the end of the year. Right. So we'll have to wait and see, man. And even someone like yourself, what do you think is going to happen in the housing market with AI? Yeah, I think. I mean, I think it's similar. They're gonna be mm. able to predict what's gonna happen. They're gonna mm. be able to, you know, see, you know, read all the data. Mm. But um, you know, I don't know. I like. I think about the future of like real estate agents, and I almost, I almost feel that eventually, companies like you know, the companies are just gonna ha- have an AI agent. You don't have to. Like they say, they you know, you were supposed to be there to show the house, right? Mm. But um, maybe that maybe that's eliminated down the road because you can have an AI list a home. You can now if I'm the company, I can say, all right, uh, Malcolm, um, you know, we're going to have the house be showed. Yep. But I'm going to I'm going to stick cameras in your house. So now. Yeah. So now when people come, there's a key code, there's a key code. Cameras turn on. Yep. You you can see them walk through your whole house, yep. and then, um, and then that, and then the showing's over. And now let me ask you this: Do you think that that actually? Do you think more people will like that? Uh, and the reason why I say uh, the reason why I ask that is because uh, I remember when when um, my my girlfriend when she had gotten into a, a, a bad car accident, yeah, and we went to go look for newer vehicles, yeah. The experience of how different dealerships go about selling a car, right. You know, it was night and day. Yeah. One dealership annoyed the hell out of us because they were way too pushy. Yeah. You know, and I understand that that's a part of it, right? That's part, yeah. But then one dealership, in my opinion, did an amazing job because what they did was they basically said, hey, what kind of vehicles are you guys looking for? Okay, you want this color, this color, that, uh, this is the kind of trim you want? Yeah. Okay, now here's the keys to the vehicle. You guys go and test drive it yourselves without me. Yeah, you know, without me, the sa- the salesperson. Yeah, let you guys enjoy it. Take it for as long as you want. Obviously, don't right. go, it get, can't, you know, yeah. drive it to, to Wisconsin <laughs> or some something crazy. But and then come back and let me know what you think. By doing that, we were able to really enjoy just 
enjoy the 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 test drive and like you visualize know? yourself in the car. yeah and not feel like the person in the is right there in the back like so you're gonna buy it so you're gonna buy it so you're gonna right. buy it right so for with with housing having you know customers show up and say hey we got you know 30 minutes or 45 minutes to walk through this house by ourselves right and we can really look in every little nook and cranny and see yeah. you know what what maybe needs to be what we need to change what we need yeah. to invest so on and so forth and yep. just have more of a a relaxed experience right yeah i i agree with that man i think i think that might be the future of real estate mm-hmm. if it if it develops like that mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. granted there'll probably be some people who are like oh i, I want to take my an agent with me like true. somebody to kind of walk me through the house true but um but then i think it's going to be almost like the self-checkout man like uh, you book an appointment to go see the house. It gets approved. It sends you the code. Um, it only it probably be like if you have to be there at this time, otherwise the code expires. Yeah, exactly. You can't just yep. have it open. <clears throat> yeah. Um, and then you know they do the same thing. Walk through the house. If you have any questions, you know, send us the questions, and then the AI can respond or a mm-hmm. human can respond, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and all your questions get answered. And then it's a matter of. You know, some in the contract stuff like that. I mean, that it could it could happen. Yeah, it could happen. Yeah, where and like closing and paperwork and all that oh, stuff dude. will be like ChatGPT will just Don't sign here, sign here, 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 sign here, and that's yep. it. Yeah, yeah, and if they need you to come in person, mm-hmm. obviously, like you have a receptionist, right, or somebody in there, right, you right, walk right. in, sign the paper, done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it could be. I mean, it could sales jobs too could be at risk, man, because. Uh, I saw a video where, you know, Google or I don't know if it was Google or somewhere, but they had an AI doing sales calls and it could like triple, I think it was double or triple maybe, don't quote me on it, but they were, the amount of calls that a human could do compared to the AI, it was nuts. And then it could, it could tell your voice, like, like the AI could be like oh, okay i think my, it can judge your personality yeah and ask you questions to get out. you yeah. to say yes yeah yeah you know see now and that's <laughs> that's, that's where it gets scary that's where it gets, go, going back to like i said about yeah like, I, i'm not necessarily afraid of ai itself but if it starts developing consciousness if it's starting yeah. if it's able to to <laughs> to read human beings and manipulate human yeah. beings then we're in some serious yeah, trouble, we're in some trouble you know? man so when i saw that i was like yeah why wouldn't people use but, it for but, sales but if we're being honest and i guess we're already being manipulated yeah right through advertising through yep. marketing yeah so it, it the would algorithms just be a different, yeah. yeah it would just be a different form of manipulation yeah yeah so i think <sighs> yeah finance the financial industry the banks um i mean look at tellers man tellers are so slowly going away yeah banks will probably be non-existent i mean the way they're talking it's probably gonna go away well, how long do you... That digital currency stuff? That's what I was going to say is how long do you think before physical, actual physical currency is gone? I don't know, man. I'm like you, man. I get I get scared thinking about it <laughs> because because where does that, what does that mean for us? If, yeah. if the world that we know is completely gone. Yeah. Now we're in a whole new world. And you just have to adapt, man. Yeah, I know, I, but it's just like... Where where does it like? Where does it stop? It doesn't. Yeah, and and what's the game now? Yeah, because if it's a digital currency, like these people are saying, and they can say, Malcolm, you can't buy buy this. You can't you can't play Fanduel anymore. Right. Right. (laughs) You've won too much money on Fanduel. Right, 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 right. Yeah, that's crazy, and it locks your like you locks your stuff. Like what the fuck? No, yeah, it could happen. We're gonna be back to like trading. Yeah, the trading system. Yeah, the barter system. Nah, I mean and. Yeah, it could, right? it could happen. It could. It could happen. It could wait. I mean, nothing. I don't know. I don't. I. I think, you know, what I've learned about human beings is that we, and it seems like every decade, man, we do this. We'll we'll run to one side of the boat. Yeah. And then we'll run to the other side of the boat, and then we just we just keep <laughs> literally going back and forth, back yeah. and forth. You know, yeah. we don't. Yeah. Um. We don't like to to just stay consistent and steadily change over time. It's like we just we have all these extremes. Yeah, it's it's always a something something. So yeah, I mean it'd be it's gonna be interesting to see, man, with the financial industry, real estate. What about cybersecurity? What do you think about that in AI? I mean, because they're already doing it. Yeah, they're already doing it. I mean, I think it's probably gonna. I think it's. 
I would say it's probably good for for cybersecurity because it's the smartest wall that you can have. Right. But obviously, then there's the other side. It's the good versus evil. Right. There's a then there's a, it could be the bad AI who can right penetrate the good AI. Right. Right. I right, mean, right, it's right. So I don't been, know because I, I I do think that that's like what potentially what a what a world war three would look like i don't think it's necessarily bombs like a, or anything no it's it'd be a digital a digital, digital war. war you know <laughs> yeah it's like if, if that's crazy i mean because think about it what's more yeah. what's more detrimental to to the united states right if we were to get into an actual physical altercation right, right with a with a with russia or whoever let's yeah. just say right or if you were able to if they were able to somehow shut down all of wall street that'd be crazy or Wi-Fi or exactly. phones. If they were, exactly. If they were able to just wipe out the entire system and the, and the network overnight, that yeah. would be to me that would that would hurt us more. Yeah. Than than you know going and fighting and and wherever. Yeah. Know? No, I I agree with that. Yeah, because if you can't communicate, what are we gonna do? Can't communicate. Can't go out and buy groceries. The yeah. entire system is done. You know? Yeah. I think and I, and it, it, I think the one thing I don't like with the AI is with the electric cars, which is why I won't get Ooh. one. I feel like there's something behind them pushing the electric cars. This is just a conspiracy theory, so yeah. I don't know. But I, this but is my I, theory. But it's not okay. Uh, let's hear. Let's hear it. Let's because hear it. okay. All right. If I got a gas car, uh-huh. now granted, my car does have a computer in it, right? So it could it could they could mess with it that way. Yeah. But if you're all electric, yeah. You know, I feel like they can be like, you can't drive today. Today you're not allowed to drive. True. So your car won't turn on. So it's possible. So you think it's a potentially another way to control people in down the long the run down yeah. the road. Yeah. Down no, the road. We get it. Yeah, because yeah. if because right now, I mean, they can't. I mean, the gas is like physically. You got to physically go. Right. You know, like right, they right, right, they right. empty the gas in there, and I think gas stations will still be around. Mm-hmm. But let's just say there wasn't any gas stations, and you mm-hmm. have to charge your car. Mm-hmm. But then they're like, "Well, you can only get X amount of electricity, <laughs> you know, oh, and yeah. you can't charge your car. Yeah. You can't drive it today." No, oh, yeah. I mean, I uh, it's it's definitely a possibility, man. Yeah, because I think about my car with the computer. I'm like, man, they could program where they want into it. Yep. Yeah. So maybe it's better to have the hoopty down the road. <laughs> Get that hoopty yep. back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody get yourself a hoopty. Get, get Go get ahead you. and spend 500 bucks. Hey, get, get you. Get yourself an old, old you. reliable Honda Civic hey. 1990 Honda Yep, because when, <laughs> when it all comes crashing down, that hoopty's going to be running. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. They got no computer in that one. No, uh, no, no. I think the what, what the, 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 the smartest technology in the hoopty is probably what, the radio? The radio. <laughs> and they got the big-ass antenna. Yep. yep. Oh, man. Yeah, oh, man. AI man, it's gonna be a crazy thing. But so you have you you wrote down climate change mm-hmm. on here. Yeah, tell me tell, tell me a little bit about that. My, what was what your I, idea what, behind what was that? My thinking yeah. Behind it? So my my thinking behind it is that um, I personally I'm not a big believer in the climate and the and the uh, global warming conspiracy. Right. Uh, and my reason behind that is because I think that the Earth has been around for way longer than you know humans have. So the Earth is always going to do what it needs to to re- fix itself. Okay. Right? Um, and I believe that uh, things that are happening right now in the world when it comes to climate change are just cyclical. Cyclical. I do. Th- I do think that it's not good for us to be doing everything that we're doing. You know, right. putting all the emissions and stuff like that into the air and the atmosphere. <coughs> Excuse me. But like I said, I, I do believe that the Earth will find a way to fix itself, regardless of what we do. Right. Um, and because of things like AI, I think in the future, um, it will help naturally regulate that for us as human beings. Mm -hmm. Uh, there'll be systems put into place, robots put into place to just take and handle and deal with the emissions right away, you know? Um, and so I, I do think that it can be beneficial when it comes to that in the long run. Yeah, I agree with that. I don't, yeah, I don't don't have too much on climate change. I really don't get into it that much. Um, I think it's kind of just you know is what it is Mm -hmm. you know Mm -hmm. we like you said we do a lot of stuff that Mm -hmm. causes harm to it Mm -hmm. so Mm -hmm. but yeah maybe ai would be able to help with that yeah and i I do think that like you know solar panels different things like that uh green energy 
um, I do see us as a society just moving more in that direction in the long run. Yeah. You know? So Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, that's where I was going with Yeah, it. I agree with that, man. Yeah, because climate, climate change is another, another thing, man. seems like the winters are getting a little longer. Yeah, and the sun, yeah. It seems like it. Yeah. At least in Illinois. Yeah, I think just in the I mean, Midwest. it's like cold, like from like November to, like <clears throat> to April. But so like, so that's one of the reasons, well, not one, but I think about um, the solar system as a whole, right? Right. Everything's moving. Yeah. Right? And it just so happens that every, I don't know, thousand years, two thousand years, I don't know the exact timeline of any of of, all, of it all but right. the earth is going to be moving and rotating in a different way yeah right throughout the entire uh solar system and then the, the galaxy and the galaxy a part of the universe etc right, etc right. um scientists have been able to 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 show and prove that at one point you know uh, back in the day that the weather was different because of this, because of that. So I think that's just where we're at. Yeah. I think it's just one of those. It's just changing. It's just changing. But it's not necessarily, you know, oh, the world's going to end. Right. No, you I, know, don't I don't I don't like buying into but, that theory. I don't think it's good to push that theory. Yeah, I don't like that. have yeah. people in, in fear, like, you know, that the ozone layer is all of a sudden going to disappear <laughs> and the sun's going to be beaming so hard that people are going to start melting. Yeah, that, yeah, that's crazy. No. Nah, no, nah, yeah, I think we'll be all right with that. Yeah. Um they got diversity and inclusion in here. Yeah. AI diversity. with diversity and inclusion. Yeah, and because like in the we're in the workspace, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um I mean more so in some of the jobs that we talked about that will possibly be replaced. Yeah. Someone's still going to have to I guess operate these robots right right so you know whoever that person is is going to learn how to integrate with more with ai right there's going to be some there's going to be somebody that's just more responsible for that kind of stuff yeah you know and i mean that's really what i meant by diversity and inclusion you know yeah just having somebody's going to have to still somebody's going to have to work with the robots yeah 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 somebody's always going to have to work with the robot my pride might even be a new major down the road it might be you know yeah it and might I, be. You get and, a master's in, in AI? Yeah, master's in AI. <clears throat> yep. Or or I wonder, you know, we, we touched a little bit on education. I wonder if AI will now eliminate the college, like, the college as we know it. You know what I'm saying? Whoa. Because really, really, if you, I mean, I you know, I went to school for four years. A lot of the stuff you don't use for whatever it is that you want to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? So like an electrician, it takes a year to become an electrician. Mm-hmm. So why can't it take a year for something else? And then literally the AI can say, all right, uh, what what all do I need to learn in order to be in this career field? And well, then the AI just breaks it down. Well, okay. But, well, let's talk about your theory that for 50 grand, you can get this chip put in your head right <laughs> now. Right, right. You go to college. A person goes to college. What's the average cost of of college for to go to any any college for it's four prob- years? It's probably like forty a year. For- okay, so basically fifty. Right. right. We'll just call it fifty. Well, just let's just say room and 50, board. Right. Room and board. 50. So, what would you rather do if someone gave you the option at at the age of eighteen? Hey, you can put this chip in your head, and I mean, you can know everything, right? right. Like you you could pass any test with this kind of information. If you had access to the internet twenty four seven, you could ask any question. And have it answered in real time. Right. What's the need to go to college? Yeah. You know everything. You know how to do. It. <laughs> you know how to do everything. I yeah. I don't know, man. Yeah. I think, but I think it's it's. I think that could be a good thing though, man. Because I I mean, besides the experience you get from college, you know, of living there on your own and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you really just want to just get out in the world and start, you know, just learn what you have to learn, you know, I think. AI could be good for that. True. You know, if True. I'm a teacher, if I'm a teacher right now, I'm looking at that. I think we talked about that before. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll cre- I'm creating a business plan. I'm going to use AI to help me develop, like, different classes. Yeah. And I'm going to teach myself. Yeah. You know, like, I won't be in the school no more. Yep. Yeah, and but. just have an entire um, program that you can then yep. either sell to a school. Right? Yeah. Are you, is that kind of yeah. going? Yeah, or, like- or you are the school, you ah. know? Like, okay, here, you know, everything's <clears throat> online. Mm. You go to high school online now. 
if you don't want to go to high school, true, you still have a teacher. It's like mm. homeschooling, mm. except beefed up. Mm. Now, do you think that that would be better for children or worse? Uh, worse in the sense of you don't get to socialize, but better in the sense you're getting a better education. I think, right? Because a teacher is going to specifically build the you know the classes mm. and stuff the way they want to, not what the the school system pushes on you to teach. Right. You know, it's a different. Right. Yeah. Now, now, from like society's pers- or just as society as a whole, do you see us? becoming more um yeah we 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 still need the social aspect but do you see us as a society distancing distancing ourselves slowly but surely from each other because it's a weird thing like we're all connected right and we've talked about that before like we all have this you know with our phones we can be connected right at the same time we feel so disconnected yeah 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 it, it it definitely is like that it definitely is like that man i think over time we'll just slowly start to separate mm-hmm. even more mm-hmm. it'd almost be like a like a class or a class system yeah. you know like back in the day how there was classes and then yeah, it's yeah. like but i think it's going to come down to the education part true you know and hopefully true. ai can help with that yeah or not help i don't know but what, what's your what's your biggest fear when it comes to ai your own personal fear like when you've given it some some thought I guess, like, I mean, I, I guess, like, I'm not really, like, I'm more, I'm more, the only part, like, we just, we're like, we just discussed earlier is the, is the financial part. I really, I really am afraid of somebody trying to control or a computer being able to control the, what I do with my money mm. or where it's at. Cause right mm. now it's in the bank. Right. But tomorrow they could just, well, if it goes, so you're saying like if it goes to uh, 100% digital, yeah, right. What's what's stopping somebody? What's stopping AI from just saying yeah, zero? <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I I don't know. That, I think that's my biggest fear with AI is if it <clears throat> if it goes that route, and all our money's there, you know, um, that I mean that, I mean when you talk about taking people's money, man. Hey, you pissing people hey, off. Hey, you, yeah, you doing something's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I almost wondered like if that does happen, if I would just pull my money out and just keep it at the crib. Mm. I don't know though. But then it's t- well. So, then if your house burns, your money burns, I guess. Right. Yeah, and so like this kind of, I don't know. I guess it's a segue into like a, a topic, but um, if if that were to happen though because money is really is a belief system mm-hmm. if we're being completely honest right yeah if i hand you a $5 bill right now you and i are both agreeing that it's worth $5 right if i hand you a $100 bill you and i are both agreeing that it's $100 right now if we're being completely honest what's the difference between that $5 bill and that $100 bill nothing it's just the ink yeah it's just on the ink but we agree right that because i the 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 $100 bill has blue ink right <laughs> it's worth more yeah so if something like that were to occur and yeah, everybody takes their money out of the bank, well still at the end of the day, there has to be a belief that it's worth something. That it's worth something in order yeah. for it to actually be worth anything. Yeah. Yeah, so I, don't, I that's and that's why when I think about it it gets it gets crazy <laughs> for me cuz I'm like, man, what, well, you know, if that does happen, hey, cuz then cuz then I mean, the barter system may come into play like you mentioned. Yeah. It's like, well, dude, what do I care about having a blue $100 bill? That's not going to feed my family. Right. If for whatever reason things go, you know, go bad. Right. Like, it's like, no, I need a loaf of bread. You got right. bread? You got bread? <laughs> what, and yeah. You got water? You yeah. Know? Yeah, it's going to be that. Yeah, that could be crazy, man. So, like, my, my biggest fear when I think about it is, like I, like I brought up earlier, is AI developing uh, consciousness to the point where it realizes that maybe human beings aren't what's best for the planet, you know, yeah. and uh, choosing to do something, you know, that would, would, uh, put us in harm's way you mm-hmm. know um which is what elon musk said i think he uh he said that's what he's afraid he's afraid of ai mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. in that sense you know? you know if it develops if it becomes too smart right now do you, you know? do you agree with with him and uh from the standpoint that we should become a multi-planet species what do you mean Meaning that, you know, human beings are living on Mars, they're living on, you know, other, oh, planets, other planets that are, that are habitable. 
potentially habitable? Um, I mean, it's interesting to think about if you wanted to, you know, do that. Mm-hmm. You know, I think. Do uh, you think it's something that we'll see within our lifetime? Because of AI and because of technology, I mean, it's, and it's more so because of the speed that it's all moving at. Yeah, you know. I mean, I think we might see, we might see some of it. Maybe, what are we? Thirty? I think 33, we will. Thirty-two, fifty I think years. We will. I think we will. No, question. I think towards our end, I think ah, we'll feel it. I think we'll see it. I think we'll see it within the next twenty years. I think so. Not. Yeah, because I mean, look at look at what our grandparents have seen in right. their lifetime. I mean, just in the last since they've been fifty up until now. Yeah. You know, it's just night and day. Yeah. Um, and who's to say they haven't already done it or they haven't already attempted it? That's true, you know? too. Um, but I, I personally think uh, it's not a bad thing. I yeah. just wish we all would take better care of this planet and ourselves yeah. first. So it's trying to ride out. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's like. Yeah. And myself included, right? I'm not perfect. I mean, you know, I, I got some things I can tighten up on when it comes to right. envir- being environmentally friendly. <laughs> right, right. So um, I think that's going to cost so much, though. I think I think it that'll probably start to happen if it starts to get bad here. You know, mm-hmm. with, with AI, because you got to think about it. If AI starts to eliminate jobs, where does that leave people? And if it gets too bad here... <laughs> What are they then gonna, we're yeah. people are gonna well people are gonna just naturally leave well that's a good question so yeah. so if ai does take all of these jobs away yeah then what is what are what are people going to do what what are people going to do with their time that because it, that, they, i think that's a scary thing to think about <laughs> so i mean it could be it could be scary but it could also be positive if if used correctly if people start putting what do we talk about on the podcast? We talk about mindset. We talk right. about purpose. We talk about passion, right? Right. If you start, if people start pursuing their passions, because right. if we're being honest, some people just go to college because they don't go to college because that's what they're passionate about. Right. Or they don't end up in a specific career or a job field because that's what they're passionate about. Right. They're doing it for money. Right. They're doing it because it pays the bills. Right. If it gives them the kind of lifestyle that they want. Yeah. If, if, right. AI comes into play and removes some of these jobs and we as a society decide, hey, rather than sitting in the, in your the corner of your house and being depressed because you no longer have a job, if we take that energy and we start putting it into your your passions and your purpose, well, maybe I'm and I'm just using this as an example. Maybe you find out that that person was actually an amazing artist. Right. You know what I mean? A uh, uh, Da Vinci, uh, yeah. uh, something like something that. Like that and, yeah. and this person is actually extremely gifted, and now they can live, they can live a life full of purpose, full right. of passion, because they no longer are chasing, you right. know, monetary gain. Yeah, that I mean that's true. But we also got to think about too, like, um, in this this book I was reading called it talks about the downward spiral effect. Mm. So I mean, like. Granted, I think there'll be a small amount of number that does that, mm-hmm. but then when you're trying to like survive, mm-hmm. I think people, most people, just fall in that downward spiral, right? Until they can't get back out. True. You know what I'm saying? Like I think it it would get so bad for some people if that starts to happen. Got you. Yeah. Which yeah. is which is scary, man. Like true, true. You true, know, true, true. Cause it because it's not just the adults. You know, it's kids too. You true. know, because they're gonna feel it. Yeah. And. uh because we need purpose. We do. We right? do. We do. We need purpose. Without without it, you right? Know, it's like, well, why are we even here? <laughs> right. You know. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you got to. De- I, I would just. If you got people just got to develop their skills, man. With ever whatever it is, just start developing something. Would you Would you say that that's that's solid advice to you know for any and everybody? Doesn't matter what age you are, right? But to just try to add a few more tools to your tool bag yeah. right now. Yep. Um. So that way, you you don't know which one of those tools you may you may have to lean on more right. in the near future or future. Yeah. Yeah. It's like we talk <laughs> about, man. Just narrow down two things, maybe three things yeah. that you're passionate about. Because you yeah. could be, you know, like somebody like me. I'm a mult. Like I figured out I'm multi passionate. So like, mm-hmm. yeah. You know, when I find something I like, I just become super passionate Upset. about it. Yeah. yeah. So, but now I have to learn to stay narrow down to like two things yep you know that and and really stick with those because you can't spread yourself too thin no you know yeah no so uh, no that's true man and I, and I i catch myself sometimes being that way as well i always have to uh, check in with myself and be like hey right. look i can't like 
for example, I had to quit my uh, my softball team. Damn. And I didn't even get to play one game because I, I just realized, like, I don't have the time right. to, to – to to give to that right now yeah. even though i enjoy it i enjoy the guys i yeah. enjoy the team i enjoy the you right know, the whole the whole atmosphere it's fun yeah. yeah you know but i had to let it go it was tough to do but yeah man and and uh you know that that and it does suck for some people you know even for me like when you got to give something up like you were saying mm-hmm. um but you have to because your energy can't be too many places at once. Yeah, no, because some, some you're gonna lack somewhere, you know. Yeah, you're gonna lack somewhere. But yeah, man, this was a this is a very interesting episode. You know, we wanted to give you guys a little uh, something a little different. You know, um, we've had you know a, a plethora of guests on. Yeah, um, we'll continue to bring some guests on. We got some exciting some exciting people, man, that we're gonna bring on the podcast that yep. uh, might shock. I mean, I know it's gonna shock us, so I'm sure it'll shock you guys. <laughs> Um, but as always, we want to thank you guys for watching, for listening, and we will catch you on the next episode. Peace. Peace.